Okay, Caden and I have amazing news, but first we want to tell you a story. So, so, I grew up in a family where animals were meant to be outside. Um, and that's just what we did. And we had tons of them. We had cows, chickens, rabbits at one point in time, hogs, pigs, whatever you want to call them. I mean, we, we've had animals outside. Um, that's just how I was raised. So when my boys were little, um, we ventured, or I ventured, into the world of an indoor pet. And we got a boxer. Caden was a little bitty thing, and in no time at all, she was bigger than he was, okay? And she got to a point where he couldn't control her. I could barely control her. She was solid muscle, the sweetest dog on the planet. And I don't know if it was just because it was my first or if it's the only one I've had. Um, but regardless, her name was Tessa. We still have her ornament over here on our tree. I don't know if you can see it, but we put it up every year. We have not had Tessa for about three and a half years now. And um, we had kind of some hardships in our life and our, you know, home life and just financial, just a lot of things happened. And so we had to rehome Tessa. It was heartbreaking. Um, we still get emotional about it. And like I said, it's been three and a half years, over three and a half years. But we rehomed her to a family who was absolutely perfect for her. She was perfect for them. We've watched her through the years. We've gotten, you know, we've seen videos. We get pictures. We're still in contact. Um, but this one right here has a soft spot for animals. I do too, but um, we love them. And he has wanted one. He cries about it. I know, I'm sorry. shouldn't have told him that. But anyway, or he doesn't cry about it. But he has wanted... A dog. He's dog sat and he's, you know, I'm showing you I'm responsible. Please, can we get a dog? Can we get a dog? Can we get a dog? And I put it off and put it off. Not because I don't love dogs, but because it felt like a betrayal to the one we had. It felt like, you know, why would we get rid of her and then try to replace her? Because she couldn't be replaced because she was and is still um, just a wonderful dog. Wonderful memories of her. However, I let this little joker right here, he really twisted my arm, y'all, you can tell, um, talk me into getting a dog. So, we are going to present to you, hey, Teresa, we have a new family member. Um, Caden's outnumbered now, currently, and in, in, under this roof, it's now two girls to one. And we would like to present to you our sweet little nugget, and oh my God, we're in love already, Indigo Sky. Indy, Indigo, that's what we're going to call her. She is the cutest, oh my God, sweetest, rottenest already um, little thing. So we've got her little collar. She's not really a fan, but holy cow, it was just too darn cute. Let me hold her. Let me see this sweet little nugget. She is um, a rotten little mess. I don't know if y'all can see her. Her eyes are like blue gray. She kind of looks like her mama. Um, she is a Frenchton. Oh, she's grunting now because she's, she's like, I'm not wanting to be a star. I'm not wanting celebrity status. However, this little thing right here, pure preciousness. This one over here is super happy. She took a nap in his butt crack today. I got pictures of it. It's not even a joke. Um, but our home is complete again, fur baby and all. And um, I think it was therapeutic for us to finally be at a point where we could do it again, and we know that our Tessa is um, somewhere where she's just meant to be. She's loved beyond measure, and now we were at a point where we felt like it was the right thing to do, and so y'all will get to see this little girl, I promise, because it's going to be picture overload. She is, she's a sweetie already. I mean, just... Mm, we love her. So, anyway, that was our big announcement. Isn't she so cute, Teresa? Oh, my God. Um, Kim, Tessa is a boxer. And um, she lives um, in Thomaston um, with Christy Ward and her family. And um, Miss Sophia is just, she and, she and Miss Sophia, Tessa and Miss Sophia are like peas and carrots. So, um Matt, she is a sweet little thing. She's she's a Frenchie and a Boston Terrier mix. Um, but, oh, my God, I'm just eating her up. I got pictures. She snored on me right up in here. That's why we went and didn't go live earlier. 
<laughs> yes, the butt crack dog bed. Amber, don't give our secrets away. Don't give our secrets away. Amber, ask you and I work together and um, we have a brilliant idea that's going to make us millions to do with dogs and a butt crack bed for dogs because apparently that's where they like to sleep. Who knew? So, I'm posting. Um, Heather, her name is Indigo Sky because um, cause of her blue color. We're going to call her Indy Indigo, um, but her name that she was given at birth was Sky, so we're going to keep that too. Um, and she's a prissy little thing. She is a spunky little thing, but oh, so sweet. So, like I said, we are in love already. She's not in love with the collar, but she does love us. I can already tell. And um, like I said, y'all are going to be seeing her on my page a whole lot. And this one right here, Over the Moon. So excited. I thought he was going to cry. I know he didn't want me to tell him that. But. So anyway, we are going to go enjoy this little rotten mess. Um, and y'all stay tuned for the adventures of Indigo. Have a great night. Bye.